Hello guys, welcome to NetExperts. My name is Sudanshu Kapoor. In this session, we'll see how to edit a table and how to enter a data in the table in the in SQL Server 2019. So let's start the session, guys. So let me open my SQL Server machine. So this is my SQL Server machine. Okay, I log in with SQL Server Management Studio already with my admin user. In the previous lecture, we'll see how to create the table. So I'll I expand my databases folder first. And in that we have the DB3, we have these databases. So in DB3, we already created one table. Okay, so I just expand my DB3 and I go to expand the tables. In tables, we have a table named employee details, which we created previously. Now, first I need to edit this uh, table structure. Okay, so how we can go for that, just right click on that and we have the option design option is there. So once you click on design, now you can see that the table is open. Okay, now let me go for full screen first okay so now you can see that the table is open now so we can we can change the column name we can we can change the data type also okay like imagine i want to uh, change the i want to change address characters like imagine right now it's 50 okay i need to go to 75 and go to 75 like this okay once i try to change the design of the table Okay, and I and I it's changed as you can see that it's modified now it's seventy five, and I'm going to save this table this uh, this changes. So once I'm going to give me, uh, going to uh, save the changes, it's told me that it's it's give me the warning. It's give me the warning that save uh, save saving changes is not permitted. The changes you have made required the following table to drop out and recreate it. So it told me that you once once you create the table, you not able to change the table. You're not able to change the changes. You're not able to, you can see that, uh, change anything in the table. If you want to change anything, you need to recreate the table again. So it's not good for me. So what what, what if I need to change anything in this table? So how we can go for that? If I if I see this kind of things, so how we can go for, I go for tools over there. On the tools, we have the options, okay? In the options, On the down, we have designer option is there, designers. Once you click on designers, there is an option name, prevent saving changes that requires table or recreation. So by default, SQL Server not allowing you to change anything in the table once you once your table is created, okay? So if you want to change uh, in the same table, you need to uncheck this option first. I just uncheck this option first and click on okay. Now, now you can change, and now I just changed, as you can see that, it previously is 50 characters. Now I, I increase the characters in 75 in address bar. And now you can go for save. Now this time, I successfully save this changes in the table design. So like this, how we can go for that. Now what we see, I need, now I'm going to add the records in this table. So how we can add the records. I just right click on that and the option edit top 200 rows. Let's click on edit. Now see, I'm able to edit anything. So like imagine this is my first name, last name, address, city, pin code, country. Okay, this is the structure of my table, which we created. Now I need to give the first name. So imagine the first name is said and the last name. This is the, this is the uh, um, you can see that there is a red, red icon over there. This cell is changed, has changed. The cell has not been committed to, uh, to the change, committed to the database. The original data is null. Okay, so if you when you're going to change the things okay so it shows you like this now you go for kapoor over there okay now i need to give the address so it's interesting in uh, delhi you go for delhi uh, a city you can say that delhi again i define the pin code like image double one double zero one five and country india like this okay once i tap this to another uh, go for that so it should see that the, the the red icon is gone now again imagine that you go for my next employee is deepak okay now i just press tab over there like imagine that see once i once i enter it you can see that so it shows me we not able to we uh, that the data is row they, they give me the warning okay now no row was updated the data is row two was not committed okay so it shows me error that the last name and in uh, last name value, you can see that I cannot insert the value null into the column last name. 
So in last name, we already said that we're not able to uh, use null values. So that's why it's not save the changes. The changes is terminated. Okay. I just come back, click on OK again, and I need to give the so I need to give the full name Bhardwaj. Imagine I go for Bhardwaj, and then I go for enter. See now it shows me address also. So address also I'm not able to save. I, I'm not able to uh, give the null values. Okay. So I go for addresses. Imagine go for the Radun. Okay. And then you can go for enter. Now you can see that in city pin code and country. I'll 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 go for the uh, the null also like this. Okay. Now now the important thing is that once I edit the table, I don't want to save anything. You can see that it's automatically save. It should not shows me the save option over there as you can see that. It's automatically save all the records. Okay, I don't want to save manually. It's automatically save all the records. Okay, now we'll see that I just right click on that again and I go to select top thousand rows. It shows me now this time that shows me the records which I which I added in the table. So this is the way how we can edit the structure of the table. If you want to add the structure of the table, so by default you're not able to edit it. You need to uncheck that option. Prevent uh, save changes and in the tools option. Okay, and after that you need to edit the edit the uh, the record option. You need to cl click on edit top 200 rows. Okay, and then you can add the records. Okay, so as per the requirement which you set in the structure type, as per the requirement you can set in the, in the structure type. Okay, whatever uh, uh, volume uh, values you can set that which column we can set the null value in which column you're not able to set the null volume. It shows you everything over there. Or oh, this is the way how we can edit the structure and how we can add the records in the in the uh, SQL table. That's it for this session, guys. I hope you able to understand this session. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe the channel for more technical videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys.